Okay, we're on Erevin, Perek Vav, Mishnah Tet, ninth mission of the sixth chapter of Erevin. We're going to continue discussing the laws of commonality, of sharing of Chatzerot. So now in our case, we're going to talk about Shtei Chatzerot, Zulifni Mizo. Two Chatzerot, I got a picture for you, one in front of the other. So I have two Chatzerot. This is the inner courtyard. In order to get out to the Mavoy, you have to go through an outer courtyard in order to get there. Okay, this is the inner courtyard. You have to go into the outer courtyard. As you can see, people are walking. And that's the, I don't know why he wrote it twice, but whatever. Okay, you can see, well, there's called what's called Drisat HaRegel. Drisat HaRegel. Meaning, the guys who walk here, Drisat HaRegel, they have to walk through the outside. But the outside doesn't have to walk to the inside. So we're going to have, a, we're going to obviously have a question, what happens if these guys don't make an a roof, but they have to walk through here? Is there walking through here? Does that uh, remove these guys' ability? Does that impinge on their ability to make an a roof for themselves? Let's see in the Mishnah. I have a, and we're going to see it in the Mishnah, and then I have a chart for you. It says in Mishnah, Shnei Chatzei wrote, Zu Lifni Mizu. Two courtyards, one in front of the other. Erva Pnimit, Velo Erva Chitzona. The inner one made an Eruv, and the outer one didn't make an Eruv. That's fine. Pnimit Muteret, Va Chitzona Asura. Then the inner one is Mutar, and the outer one is Asura. Let's go back to our, our chart. These guys made an Eruv. Nobody walks into them. They have their own little privacy. That's great. These guys didn't make an Eruv. That's fine. And the Drisad Arvega doesn't affect them. Why? Because they didn't make an Eruv. On the other hand, hachitzona, v'lo hapnimit. Oh, what happens if the outer guys made an eruv and not the inner guys? So they want to have their eruv. They want to be able to carry. They want their common area. But these guys are going to walk through. What's the din? Shtehen asurot. According to the Mishnah, we're going to see this as one opinion. They're both asur. Why? Because the Mishnah of Bartunira says, the havya pnimit be'atzma, Regel ha'asura bim koma. The inner one is a regel, a foot. Ha'asura bim koma. Okay? This is a regel that's asur in its own place. Okay? Sha'arei lo arva be'atzma. They didn't make an eruv. Ve'oseret bidrisat ragleha ala chitona. When it walks, drisat regel, it makes its asur on the outside. You can't say we have a private common area, even though we made an eruv over here, but these guys are walking through and they didn't make an eruv. You have a problem. Okay? The Mishnah continues. I'm going, to, I'm going to show you all. I made, made a chart of this. I hope it'll make it clearer when we're done. Erva zola atzma vezola atzma. What happens if the, each one didn't make an eruv, but only each one to its own? Then, zumu teret pifne atzma, vezumu teret pifne atzma. So let's say each, they made an eruv for themselves. They made an eruv for themselves, but they didn't share together. So these guys are mutar. These guys are mutar. But what about going out? So the Mishnah says, zumu teret pifne atzma, vezumu teret pifne atzma. Each one is mutar. They can have their own little private party. Rabbi Akiva Omer, Oser Bachitona. Rabbi Akiva says, no, it's Asur. Why? Shedrisat HaRegel Osarta. Rabbi Akiva says, the Drisat HaRegel, these guys did not share in the Chatzer. So when they walk through, when they walk through here, right, they're, they are showing that this is not a private courtyard. So how can you say you can carry in a private courtyard when the in guys who didn't make an error with you walk through? The Chachamim or Mim, Chachamim say, Ein Drisat HaRegel Osarta. Their ability to walk through does not make something asur. Let's look at the Bartunura. De kasavre, they say, afilu regel asura bim koma. They say, angry sat her regel, but they also hold even regel asura bim koma. Even if the regel is asur in its own place, kisha kagon shalo irva afanimid la atma, if the inner one didn't make any roof, eina oseret alachitona. It doesn't make it asur. I'll explain what he just said. Chamim say, angry sat her regel usarta. The fact that these guys walk through, it doesn't, doesn't make it asur. So whether they both made an Eruv to their own, or even in the case where we learned before, where these guys didn't make an Eruv, the Chachamim say, the fact that they have the right to walk through doesn't impinge. What that means is, let's go to my chart. Okay, I made you a chart. Hopefully this is, uh, I have to make it a little bit smaller to fit in. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll make it a little bit smaller even, so hopefully it'll all fit. Uh, yeah. I make it even smaller. Does it work now? Yes. Okay. Um, let's move this over so we can see. There we go. Excellent. Okay. So first one, you have a chatzer, inner and outer. Okay. If the pnimit and the chitzona, irvayim ashani, if they all made one eruv, shnei mutarim, that's the obvious case not mentioned in the Mishnah. If each one made an eruv, if they all made an eruv all together, you know, wonderful party. If the inner one made an eruv and the outer one didn't make an eruv, this is an obvious case also. This guy, they're mutar, they made an eruv, and nobody walks through them. What happens, though, if the pinimit did not make an eruv, 
And the outer one did make an Eruv. So the, Tanakh, the Mishnah said, Shtei an Asura. Why? Because the Pnimit, we said, Asma regel ha'asura bimkoma. That's what the Bartunu said. It's a regel ha'asura bimkom. They didn't make an Eruv. So when they want to walk out, when they're going out, that's a problem. Okay? But now we learn, okay, one more case. If the, none of them made an Eruv, then it's all Asura. That's also obvious. I just added it for completion. Now we learned in the, in the end of the Mishnah, you have a machloket. If each one made an Eruv to itself, Chachamim say each one, this is mutar, and each one is mutar. And Rabbi Akiva says, no. Uh, uh, one second, Rabbi Akiva says, okay, Oser achitzona, trisata regel, osrata. Okay, Rabbi Akiva, oser, I, I copied that wrong. One second. Rabbi Akiva, oser achitzona. One second, I, I was looking at that chart, that's weird. Here we go. Rabbi Akiva, oser achitzona, should trisata regel, and the Chachamim say, no. Zumutar bifne atzma, bezumutar bifne atzma. So therefore we hold the Chachamim say, even regular asura bim koma, even if the regular is asur, nonetheless, it doesn't osir on the chitzot. And from this last case, we learn here that shtein asura, when it says shtein asura, that's rak lefi rabbi akiva. That's only the opinion of rabbi akiva that showed up later on in the Mishnah. Why? Because we learn from here that rabbi akiva held, there we go, that rabbi akiva was the one who sailed, said, drisata regel osarta. Chachamim says, Zu bifne mutar bifne atzma. So in this case, where if the inner one did make an eruv and the outer one did make an eruv, the Chachamim would argue on this and say, no, the inner one is asur, the outer one is mutar because they made an eruv. And that's actually how we paskin, that if the inner one didn't make an eruv and the outer one did, we paskin like the Chachamim. That's what the Bartunim says, halachat tanakama. And in that case, they would be able to carry in their courtyard. It's a bit confusing. I hope I explained it relatively clearly. We'll stop here. If you have any comments or questions, email me at rspolter at gmail.com. I'm going to dedicate a learning to the memory of my father, Rav Simcha Ben Yitzchak Kalman.